of the International Secret Police. Hello. 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 to gain entrance to the octopus camp in the Sahara Desert under cover of a sandstorm. They locate the death ray machine and are about to destroy it with their grenades when the octopus and Zabul enter the room. Just as the octopus is about to shoot the secret police, Speed comes in, upsets his plans, and Clint and the others are able to hurl their grenades at the deadly machine and completely destroy it. While recovering from the shock of the explosion, they hear the arrival of Captain Rinaldi and the French Foreign Legion outside, but the boys have their hands full fighting off the octopus guards and at the same time making sure the criminal does not escape. Stay by the octopus, Carlos. Don't let him out of your sight. Speak, Clint. Here, speed. Send guard with me. You bet. My death ray machine, my plan for world conquest gone. Blasted by you fools. Sure, we... Look out, Clint, that guard. Ah! Got him in the arm. Thanks, Bonnie. Uh, you are driving him back, Peter. Yeah. Easy to hold him off in this passageway. It's so narrow. And from the sound of things, I think Captain Rinaldo has the situation in hand on the outside. Shall I handcuff the octopus, Clint? Yes, handcuff him to this chair there. He's not going to get away this time, Carlos. Unless he takes a chair with him. You'll never return me to the United States, Paolo. Oh, no? What do you think we've been chasing you for all this time? Just to get a chance to look at that ugly mug of yours? Uh, once back in New York, we'll get to work on your fingerprints, Octopus. Perhaps we'll learn who you really are. Never. Never. Uh, right now, we'll see what Rinaldi is doing. You wait here with Carlos, Speed. And don't let anyone in this room... We'll be back as soon as possible and bring Buchanan with us to identify the octopus as his kidnap. Okay, Clint. We'll take care of the octopus, all right. I want to report that everything is well in hand, Mr. Barlow. The tribesmen who fought against us have all been captured, and there are the bars of gold which the octopus hid in the desert sand. Zabul told us where to look for them. Zabul! You're a most trusted man, Octopus. You see now how truly great is your power. I'll have my revenge. Old stuff, Octopus. Your days of revenge are over. Unless you take it all out on yourself. Which wouldn't be a bad idea, come to think of it. Here's Mr. Buchanan, Clint. Oh, that's fine. Now, here's the chance you've been waiting for, sir. You positively identify the prisoner as the man you knew as the Octopus? I do, yes. I'll never forget those cruel eyes. That's the Octopus, all right. And I thank heaven that you've captured him at last. You fools! You think that because you have me chained to my chair that you have ended my activities? No. I'll find a way to outwit you. I shall be greater than ever before. Say, Clint, he's got more bats in his belfry than ever. All right, let him talk. That's all I can do now. Are we going to leave the Atlantean base by caravan too, Clint? I suppose so, Speed. <laughs> Unless you can pull a plane big enough for all of us out of thin air. I have done just that, Mr. Barlow. Well, well what do you mean? My government is so grateful to you for removing the threat of such a criminal as the octopus that they have placed one of our giant monoplanes at your disposal. I've sent word of your success to the army base, and one of our best pilots are, is already flying the plane down here for you. Oh, then we can fly out of this sand trap? Suffering wang doodles? That's the best news I've ever had. Well, I don't know how we can thank you, Captain. You and your brave legionnaires deserve more credit than we do for the capture of the octopus. Without your cooperation... We never would have succeeded. No, 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 no. We merely supplied the manpower when you needed it. But had you not risked your own lives to destroy the horrible death ray machine, 
All the armies in the world could not have captured this monster. And not only did you boys capture the criminal, but you have recovered most of the investors' money for them. Yeah, and boy, are them gold bars going to be heavy to fly back. And the lost continent of Atlantis is still the secret of the past. I'll say. It wouldn't have been funny if the octopus really had found it. If he had, nobody would have gotten a sniff at it but him. Well, we got what we came after. And now our job is to get back to headquarters as soon as possible. We'll take you and Mrs. Buchanan back with us, uh, Mr. Buchanan, if that's your wish. Uh, thank you, yes, and believe me, I'll never leave the United States again. Hey, listen, isn't that the plane you're expecting, Captain Rinaldi? It should be, Speed. Lucky the wind died down before he arrived, or he might have started an endurance record all his own. Funny thing about that storm, started to die down right after we caught up with the octopus. <laughs> Are you going to blame the sandstorm on me, too, Dunlap? I should say not. Wouldn't insult the sandstorm. All right, no problem. Well, if we've cleared up all of our business, I think we'd better prepare for our flight, boys. I'll leave the camels that brought us here with you, Captain Rinaldi. You'll return them to Regan? Uh, assuredly. We will lead them to some of our wounded prisoners. Gosh, after this fight, I bet you won't have any trouble with the natives for a long time, Captain. I hope not, Speed, for their sake. Uh, do you want me to call Chief Riley in New York and tell him we've captured the octopus queen? Uh, yes, Carlos, if weather conditions will allow it. Meantime, Bonnie and I will gather up all the data we can on the Atlantean expedition. The investors will want to see it all. And I shall see to the plane. It must be well stocked, for you have a long flight ahead of you. Might as well start loading the stuff on, too, Cap. Them gold bars, for instance. Speed will show you where to put him. He knows weight distribution in them planes pretty well. Well, is there nothing I can do? No, Mr. Buchanan, you rest while you can. We'll take off from here just as soon as we possibly can. So come on, boys. The plane is well packed. The octopus is inside it already, well manacled. And everything is ready for you to take off, gentlemen. But I am very sorry to see you go, even though I know you desire it. Thank you. Thank you very much, Captain Rinaldi. And if you ever come to the United States, the secret police shall be at your disposal. Oh, see, si, see. Si. We shall show you the country like it has never been shown before, eh? <laughs> That's right. <laughs> well, guess we better get aboard, huh? <laughs> you first, Miss Vigia. Uh, thank you, thank Somebody, you. Somebody, let's go! Somebody, let's go! Let's go! Gosh, Clint, they're giving us a salute. Yeah, they're great fellas, these legionnaires. I'll say so. My hat's off, John. And now, gentlemen, until we meet again. Uh, right. Goodbye, Goodbye. 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 You sit here, Mr. Buchanan. I think this is the most comfortable seat. And you won't have to look at the octopus. <laughs> no, no, don't you worry about me, Bonnie. The octopus hasn't said a word since he was put in the plane. Guess he's trying to figure out a way to escape, huh, Clint? Yes, but it won't do him any good. I'll say not. Say, you want me to take the crate up, Clint? No, thank you just the same, but I'll do it, Barney. I want to get the feel of the controls as soon as possible for our long hop back home. Yeah, Africa's a swell country, but boy, am I glad to leave it. Gosh, fellas, I can hardly believe that we've really got the octopus at last. Seems almost too good to be true. Yeah, so not only did we get him, Speed, but by destroying the death ray machine, we may have saved the world from chaos. That's most important of all. I'll say. Well, we are about ready. Okay. Everyone is passing that safety belt for the takeoff. All right. Uh, I can have it. All right. All okay? All right, then. Here we go. Bye, Captain Rinaldi. Come on, Captain. Bye. Good luck.